Hey there, y'all. Hello to my uh, Facebook audience and hello to my Periscope audience. Hopefully my camera will flip soon and you can see me and I can see you. There we go. Uh, I am sorry that I missed yesterday. I was having major problems with my internet all weekend, so I was not able to go live at my regular time, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I have discovered that, you know, those things are attacks of the enemy. That's the devil trying to shut down whatever prophetic word needs to flow. And as a prophet of God, I don't have the right to hold the word of God when I need to release it for the people of God. And so I wanted to come on today and be sure I released what the Lord gave me, even though this is nowhere near my regular time. But I'll be able to put the video up and people can still watch it and be blessed by it. And, you know, who is the devil? Who Who is this uncircumcised, you know, uh, resistor of God that they might defy the armies of the living God? Who is the devil to resist the word of God? And so many times that's what happens in our lives. Is you've got that call of God. You've got that thing that God is trying to get you to do. And it looks like the devil just pulls out all the stops, man. It looks like he just goes to the extreme to try to shut you down. So I was having, again, internet issues literally all weekend long, but I got them worked out, so I'm on here today, so I know this is not my regular time. <coughs> Excuse me, I know this is not my regular time. My regular time is Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, but I'm on here now. And so, uh, like I said, uh, this is going to be a blessing to whoever hears it, receives it, and we're going to go forward in the name of the Lord. So now, first things first, uh, people have asked me repeatedly, how can they support me? Number one, you can support me through PayPal. I put my PayPal link on each one of these videos. Uh, and so if you want to make a donation, uh, my organization, Prophet David Taylor, it has 501c3 status. We are a tax-exempt, not-for-profit. So any donations you make will be tax-deductible. And um, that's number one. Number two, I'm setting up a Patreon for my music, Prophet David Taylor and Shades of the Cross. So I'm going to give you music videos, I'm going to give you behind the scenes videos, I'm going to give you a bunch of different styles. Uh, there's a lot of stuff actually I'm going to do through my Patreon. So uh, that'll be set up this week. So once I get that set up, then I'll be sure to put links everywhere. So if you want to support me, that's the way to support me. And of course, you know, I really appreciate it. I want to keep being able to come to you to release the word of the Lord to you prophetically and do prophetic teachings. And I also want to be able to release the music of God, the prophetic music that God has put inside of me to you to bless the body of Christ, okay? And that takes finances, no way around that. So I appreciate your support on every level. So there's that. Uh, where to find me? Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time is my normal time. And I just explained to you why I missed it yesterday. And then also every second Thursday, the second Thursday of every month, I come on and I do a teaching called No More Genies where we deal with the genie concept of God. Because many people have a genie concept of God, and it has messed a lot of people up. A lot of people have messed their entire lives up uh, uh, running with a genie concept of God. Okay, So that's very detailed, uh, and so I get into it in a lot of detail. That's the second Thursday of every month at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm on, just like I'm on now, I'm on Facebook Live and Periscope. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put these videos on YouTube so that uh, if people regularly check YouTube, if they don't see me on Facebook, they can uh, check it out on YouTube. And I'm also putting together a podcast. So there's going to be a variety of ways that you can get this content. Uh, so you, uh, you, know, you can always watch me live, but if not, then you'll have other ways to, to check out uh, what was being said. Okay. So again, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate the audience. I, I, I feel blessed and grateful for a chance to be used of God to release his word. And there's no greater thing you could do than to be used of God to glorify him and bless mankind. Okay. So I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of that. Okay. So I'm going to be sure that all those links are available to you so that you can catch me on a variety of channels. And the last thing I want to say on that before we jump into today's word is, if you want to find me online, best way to find me is always hashtag PDT. That stands for Prophet David Taylor. Hashtag PDT, Prophet David Taylor. 
I always hashtag everything I do because there's other ministers out there named David Taylor. There's other prophets, apostles. There's a bass player named David Taylor, you know, so. But when you want to find me, I hashtag everything I do with my ministry stuff. So that's hashtag PDT. That's the fastest way to find me anywhere, okay? All my YouTube videos, Facebook, Periscope, uh, podcast, Twitter, all have that hashtag. So that's the way to find me online. Okay? Great. Let's say a quick word of prayer and we're going to jump right in. Thank you, O God, that you are the line of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, O God, that you roar against our enemies. Thank you, O God, that we have a responsibility to release your word, but you will defend us. You will come to our aid, O God. You will roar against the devil and his demons and against the kingdom of darkness because it's your name that's on the line, O God, and it's your name to be glorified and it's Jesus' name that's the name above every name. And we just thank you, O oh God. We thank you that you do not leave us by ourselves, but that you come to our aid and our defense. So I ask you to be in the midst of this prophetic word and teaching today. Glorify yourself. Let me release everything you want me to release, that you might be glorified and the saints might be edified. We thank you for it. We believe you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. So today's word, as you can tell by the title, today's word is help. H-E-L-P. Today's word is help. And our scripture reference is going to be Psalm 46.1. But before I get there, let me preface it by saying, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. I know that many times in many of the hats that we wear, sometimes as adults, because, you know, we have those memes about how sometimes adulting is hard, and it is sometimes. And, you know, sometimes... Um, we come into new situations. We come into places that we've never been before. And sometimes we have hang-ups about asking for help. But I stopped by to tell you that there's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. No one person, besides God, obviously, can have all the knowledge. No one person has all the revelation. No one person has all the skills. No one person has all the understanding. There is nothing wrong with asking for help. Okay? So, having said that, let's jump into our lesson. Our lesson is based on Psalm 46.1. The book of Psalms, right in the middle of the Bible. Psalm chapter 46, verse 1. It says, For the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song. What that is, is that's musical instruction. That's uh, King David telling... Uh, the musicians uh, and the choir leader who's supposed to sing it and how they're supposed to sing it. Okay, so th those are musical instructions. And then the words say, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Okay, one more time. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. So what does that mean? Okay, well, that phrase is our refuge. In Hebrew, it is makese, makese, and it means just what it says, refuge or shelter. So a refuge or a shelter is a place that we can run to, okay, when we're in trouble. And strength, that word strength there in the Hebrew, it's ooze. Uh, I don't believe that's oz. I believe that's ooze, and it means fortress, loud, mighty, might, power, strength, or strong. So God is a place that we can run to, and God himself is strong, uh, an ever-present. Let's look at that phrase in the Hebrew. That is matzal, matzal, and it means uh, to find, afford, befall, caught, come, deliver, discover, uh, enough, finding. It has a lot of different meanings. You can look that up in the Strong's 4672, but it basically means found. So God is a place we can run to, and he's a place of strength that we can find all the time. And he's our ever-present help in times of trouble. Okay? So what does that mean? Here's what it means. Let me give you some principles. Principle number one. When you're in trouble, go vertical first. Okay? One of the things we tend to do, there's nothing wrong with asking for help from people. And there's nothing wrong with, with looking inside yourself. But the first response when you get in trouble is you should go vertical. You should go to God. Why should you go to God? Here's why. Because God has all the information about where you are. 
God understands what it is that you're dealing with. God is not going to condemn you just because you're in a fight or just because you're in a struggle or just because you made a mistake or just because there's some things that you don't know. So what you have to do is you have to retrain your mind, okay, to learn how to tap into your ever-present help. And your ever-present help is always God. No one else can say that if you think about it. Your parents, both of my parents are gone, okay? What I wouldn't give to be able to call my dad on the phone and talk to him because I love my dad and he always had great wisdom, but he's not here, you know, he's here in here, but he's not here with me on earth anymore. So, you know, your parents, your spouse, your best friends, your children, whoever, they can be present, but they're not ever present. The scripture says that our God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help. He's always there. So that means you need to retrain your mind that when you're in trouble, you need to go vertical. Go to our ever-present help. That's principle number one. So principle number one, go vertical. Here's principle number two. Be honest. Be absolutely honest. If you read the Psalms, a lot of David's Psalms, David is always talking about how he feels and what he's going through. And he's very honest about it. There's one psalm that, that David says, God, I want you to smite my enemies on the cheekbone, and I want you to break the teeth of the ungodly. That's right. That's in Scripture. So there's lots of times where you see King David being absolutely honest about what he's feeling and what he's going through. So principle number one, go vertical. Principle number two, be honest when you talk to the Lord. Here's principle number three. Believe. Believe that he hears you. Because God says... A broken and a contrite heart he will in no way despise. Okay? We can pour out ourselves. We can pour out our souls. We can empty ourselves out before God without a problem. Okay? So principle number one, go vertical. Principle number two, be honest. Principle number three, uh, pour out your soul. Don't hold back. Okay? And uh, uh, I'm sorry, that was two. Uh, Pour out, be honest, and principle number three is believe that the Lord hears you. Believe that he's heard you. Believe that every tear you cry, he puts in a bottle. Every word you speak, he writes it down. God keeps a record of your prayers and your cries. And you have to believe that the Lord will hear you. And principle number four is you have to prepare for the answer. What do I mean by that? A lot of people don't prepare for God to answer them. Okay, God's going to answer you, okay? It may not be the way you think, and it may not be the when you think, but he will answer you, okay? That's why you have to do number three. You've got to believe. So you've got to prepare for the answer, okay? Let me give you some practical examples. If you tell God you want to handle more money, you want more finances, you want a greater cash flow in your life, that means you need to study money because you need to get ready. Because what are you going to do if God gives you more money and you don't know how to handle it? You're going to lose it, okay? If you tell God, I want to be married, you tell God, I want a spouse, then what do you have to do? You've got to prepare. You've got to prepare to be married because if you don't and God sends that person in your life, you're not going to be able to attract them or keep them anyway because you're not prepared, okay? So those are the things I wanted to share with you today, that, that God is our refuge and strength, the ever-present help in times of trouble, Let's review those principles. Number one, go vertical. Retrain yourself to go vertical when you're in trouble. Number two, be honest. Pour your soul out before the Lord. Number three, believe that he hears you. And number four, prepare for God to answer you. Okay? So there's a prophetic word now the Holy Ghost wants me to release. And then I'm going to ask for prayer requests and then we'll be done for today's session. For behold, my people, I have sent my word to call you to me, to show you a new dimension of myself, that I indeed am your help. So I want you to believe my prophet, believe and you will prosper, that I am indeed your ever-present help in a time of trouble. I hear you when you call. I, I, I catch your tears when you cry. I feel the achings and the groanings and even the unspoken things way down in your heart and your soul. I care, and I am there. I will hear you. I will answer you. I will deliver you, and I will deliver you quickly, says the Spirit of the living God. Amen and amen. Praise God for that, for that prophetic word.
All right. So do I have any prayer requests? If I got any prayer requests, please put them on the screen now because I'll be happy to pray. No prayer requests? We're good? Okay. All right. So I'm going to pray a, a closing prayer. Thank you so much, those of you that tuned in live. And like I said, uh, we're going to be doing some YouTube videos with this content, podcasting. And uh, so plenty of ways to get this content if you miss it live. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, that you are ever-present help. Thank you, God, that you are the lion of the tribe of Judah and that you war against the devil and the unbelievers and those that would have the nerve to oppose you because you are God all by yourself and your word is true and your word will come to pass and your word cannot be broken. And God is true. May God be true and every man be a liar. So we thank you for being our help, our ever-present help in a time of trouble. Thank you for your prophetic word, and thank you, the Lord, that we're preparing because we believe you have heard and answered, and we want to be ready to move in the answer when it manifests, when it comes. And we thank you for it, and we believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. That was a blessing to me, as always. So I'll be back next Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, my regular time. Look for my PayPal link on this broadcast on my Periscope account. My PayPal link is right on my profile. And then also look for the YouTube links and the podcast. All right? God bless you. Have a great week. And remember that God is your refuge and your strength, an ever-present help in the times of trouble. Amen.